with a woman from every state. And let me just show you why he's getting a lot of hate. I think it's fair to say that my guy has a type, but here's what really makes me mad. This is the girl he went on a date with from Hawaii. Like, sir, what you not finna do? You not finna play us, sir. You not finna play us, sir. Then this is the girl he went on a date with from New Mexico, who is actually, if you look on her Instagram, from Long Island. So, sir, if you have a type, you didn't even have to go across 50 states for that. Like, you really just dated the same girl in every single state. Like, I, where, where? Where is the seasoning? Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments because I'm feeling like this was unnecessary. All right, welcome back to another episode. This is Mike Perkins, one half of MVP, one half of Opinions on a Podcast, one half of Mike and Vince Perkins. And for this here, I am the whole show. Um, so you saw the clip in the beginning. Uh, you seen the title. Um, yeah, this how you niggas sound. Y'all niggas sound like her all the anti you know what I'm saying passport bros anti SYSBM anti black men you know traveling shit you niggas sound like her that's how you niggas sound with your giving niggas grief for fucking acting in their own best interest you sound like the bitch that's how you sound and she's fucking retarded because she's doing this to a man that you know a white guy which is fucking ridiculous i mean that's nervy you know what i'm saying but you sound like the bitch you sound like the bitch saying you shouldn't do that because your preference offends me your ability to choose other than me or other than what i can choose for you niggas who sound like the bitch your ability to choose beyond what I can choose offends me thus don't do it you sound like the bitch I've seen these game coaches and I won't say no names it's unnecessary like I've seen these game coaches shows and their show is this a nigga calls in he's awkward or some shit and then they berate him for fucking five or ten minutes after he says his name or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and where he's from. They berate him for fucking five minutes and say, man, you gotta speak up, man. What's your fucking problem, dog? What's wrong with your voice? Put some bass in your voice, dog. What and they do that shit for five or ten minutes and then tell him to book a consultation. What the absolute fuck? And that's, these are the, you said, y'all sound like the bitch. And I get it with the women. They need to get a chair. It's musical chairs. And when the music stops, they want to be able to have a fucking seat. You motherfuckers have no reason to sound like the bitch. You sound like the bitch. He went to 50 states. He picked white women, essentially. I have no problem. Like, I have no personal problem with that. He's a white guy. Why would he pick, you know, anything else? He would come to Detroit and then just just pick Tanisha for no fucking reason? Why would he do that? Come to Michigan, you pick, you know what I'm saying, some chick from West Bloomfield or, or, whatever, or Mount Pleasant or whatever the fuck. Like, you know. You niggas sound like the bitch. Just a bunch of dice agents, dick policing, DPD ass motherfuckers. That's how you niggas sound. You sound like the bitch. You have niggas in the comp. You have niggas that are like finally showing every color of what it is that they are really, really doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the guy that, you know, the, the Clarence, you know, for example, he need, the people need for this shit to be wrong. You know, just bad faith arguments, you know, bad faith arguments. The women are the same everywhere. No, they're not. Women aren't the same everywhere. 
because the environment dictates something different. You can't say that a woman from a third world country is the same as a woman from a first world country because her environment dictates that she be different. Otherwise, somebody got to get hurt or die. There has to be a consequence for not acting in the very same. It, it, it has to be a consequence for acting in the same way as a third world country woman if you're a first world country woman. There has to be a consequence for it and vice versa. If you're in a third world country, you think that you can act like a first world country woman? No. There's a difference there. Now, you may say that their nature is the same and they want the same things, but it's not about what they want. It's about what they do. It's their actions. It's their actions. Y'all sound like the bitch. Y'all are making up every excuse as to why men should not operate in their own best interest. And this is coming from majority guys that are in the space, which is crazy because I didn't want to believe that you get dudes that are actually in the space saying the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. They're the same over there. They're going to want the same things. Y'all can't get women from over. And it's like you're a black man who is chose and other men should be able to choose what they want to choose regardless as to what you feel if you want to stay here stay here you know as a dude who hasn't really tried i i find it interesting and then and then the, the fact of it is is that you have guys like for instance the white guy was able to date a woman from every um state in the, in america you know what i'm saying all 50 states you know what i mean which like we took some money i mean i would imagine on some level at least to travel you know it took some money right so he took his money his resources and his ability to get a woman and he dated you know 50 women from 50 different states i mean like you know that's cool that's like whatever the dude likely has a decent following you know what i'm saying at least now since it's went viral or whatever you know and that's cool you have guys like 1mt Former, I mean, well, he's still Air Force, about to retire, master's in finance, you know, got a book out. Um, yeah, you know, successful YouTube channel as well. You got guys like El Wapo, former Air Force, I think. Uh, once upon a time, I think he was an engineer. Yeah. Like, these dudes served in the military. You have Pablo. You have guys that have already won. They're already winning. They're not like at a deficit with regards to any category of quality of life. They're not at a deficit. These guys are already winning. And you have guys who are not even close to being what they are saying that they shouldn't be able to do the thing that they're doing and that after they're doing it, somehow this is a loss or that somehow the women that they're choosing are the same as the women in America. Like what, like what kind of, you sound like the bitch, you sound like her. You sound like her in the beginning making this argument. When you just want dudes to pick your situation, the difference is, though, is that the woman has an incentive because she needs the resources, the protection and, 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 and the uh, the resources and the protection in order to have her quality of life be better. What's y'all's fucking reason for shaming niggas? What is the real reason you're shaming niggas out of being able to date in all 50 states? And what's the line, really? Because I think that any guy, like say if you stayed in Atlanta, for example, if you stayed in Atlanta and you said, it's fucked up here, man, it's fucked up. Like the women are walking around, strag this is straglana. And I, I can't be here because I'm not going to be able to get a wife here. And you decide, OK, instead of staying in Atlanta, I'm going to move to North Carolina. Is that OK? You know, or if let's say. You're staying in the South and you're like, man, I don't like the, the racism here, you know, or whatever. Let's say racism, I'm, whatever. 
And then you say, you know what? Some of the women, the way that they operate are because of this thing. And then you say, fuck that. I'm going to go to the West Coast because the women are a lot easier. The weather is a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not as hot all the time. You know, so I'm going to go to the West Coast, you know, because the women are better. And it's a lot. It's instead of just black women, it's a lot more of different you know, races of women. So I'm going to go there. I got the resources. I got the ability to go there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good looking dude. I'm going to go there. Is that okay? Because if going to a place where you have a better probability of getting what you want is okay within the confines of the states, then I don't imagine like where is the line? Is the line just going outside of the 50 states? Because if it is, you sound like the bitch. Just internationally, though. You sound like the bitch, but internationally. Because I know you're not saying you should just stay in Atlanta if you stay in Atlanta. I know you're not just saying stay in the South if you're from the South. Stay where you at. Because that's what it sound like y'all are saying, and you sound like the bitch. Just stay here and be miserable with me. I don't know what you niggas is doing, man. Like, y'all are really, really, really sounding like the bitch. That's the bottom line of it. And you need to, instead of sounding like the bitch, listen to yourselves and stop sounding like the bitch. You even got niggas from the country sounding like the bitch. With all due respect, you're sounding like the bitch. But that's my time, man. You know, I'm gonna get on out of here. Again, thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for everybody who's, uh, you know, supporting and everything, the comments, the likes, you know what I'm saying, the subs, you know, the sharing. I always appreciate that, man. But this is Mike Perkins, and I am out. Thank you.